guys, this is the engine pull of my Bayliner 1988 Sierra 2450 project boat. I'm going to be using this boat on the Great Loop in 2024. If you're interested in doing a project like this, stick around. I'm going to show you everything that you need to know. It's a lot easier than you think. Pro tip, before you get started, spray something like this Superzilla. Makes it a lot easier. You can find this in the description. So one of the first things I wanted to do was to get all the linkages on the top disconnected and then start working on the wires going towards the rear of the engine. That one washer that comes out, and we'll leave that there. I ain't gonna worry about it coming off. Okay, there's two of them. Now we got the same thing going on down there, but it's a different size. But what I notice is this is the top, so I want to mark that as top. Take a couple pictures. I got the video, but Let's see how we're going to mark these. Sometimes these connections are really hard to get loose, but just keep working at them and they'll come out eventually. Sometimes you can stick a little screwdriver in there to help it out. I got to tell you too that this thing was probably the hardest thing that I had to take loose on the whole engine pull. I know that's got to come off of there. Put this up a little further. <clears throat> oh. Wow. That day. Houston, we have a problem. Alright guys, I'm going to talk to you about how I'm numbering each side. I'll do like one and then the next connection will be two. And you put one on each side, then two on each side. And that way it's very easy for you to know how they go back. Alright, there's that one. Yeah. All right, so this is the next connection here that I'm pulling out, and we're going to call it number two. I just pulled it loose. I'll put two on one side and then two on the other. I had to pull a couple uh, screws out here to release it, but that's how you do it. If you do that, it's as easy as plugging the numbers back together, one to one, two to two, so on and so forth. Two. All right, basically just need to loosen this, looks like. That'll release that. And this has got to be taken off. This is the wire I'm assuming that goes to the outdrive. I'm not exactly 100% sure, but it feeds here and it's got to be taken loose here. I'll do that now. 
these come off pretty easy you just pop these little things here off like that instead of trying to get that right there loose from over there down there it looks like it'd be easier to take it loose here and then put it back on that way I know where that comes from so I'm gonna try that And what made me think that is one on the other side was hidden. Like, I don't know how they got it off. So that tells you, okay, how did they? Uh, was I looking at it wrong? Which I think I was looking at it wrong. So we'll tighten this back up on there and leave it. Get a little flathead and see if we can release that. are going to have to come out and I see some electrical right here I want to release and mark ground cable right there I'm going to release that and put those back on there <clears throat> I believe that's on the back of the starter can't quite see it but usually it is may not be it might be on the bell housing I'm sure that's going to drop. I can't really get to it. I got it. I got it. Let's take that ground off. Put that back on if we can. Let's back on. Alright, first we're going to try with the impact and see if that'll reach it and work. Okay guys, I wanted to show you these last few nuts that I've got to release from the back of the engine. I tried using my impact and it didn't work well. So I had to use a regular socket with a breaker bar. But here's a, trying to show it to you here. There's two nuts and two big washers on the back of the bell housing and you just basically have to release them take the nuts off and that thing will come away from those studs that didn't work so we'll go with the extension and the breaker bar see how that works. <coughs> That wasn't bad at all. Use a little leverage and that works. This old just piece of stainless I did on the good times I used. The thing we gotta do is release these mounts. Probably one of the hardest things to get to, but they're not that hard. But let's see if we can get it with this. All 
I can say that it feels good and tight, which is a good thing because I, the worst thing would be that thing to be wobbling around in there and it'd give me more work. So happy about that. Let's do the other side. Definitely don't want that to rise up and start rounding off. That would be disastrous. Sure. all right guys i believe that's it we're gonna start lifting to find out to see if everything is loose do it slow waiting on my buddy ajack he'll be kind of safety man let's hope nothing goes wrong y'all remember ajack he's here to be safety man watch what we're doing if anything goes wrong we're blaming it on him y'all just remember that I want to make sure that thing ain't gonna come loose up there when I, I'm part of what I'm doing is I don't freak out but see the chain how it's in the hook I want it to tighten up in that hook and I think the only way I can do that is by putting pressure on it so pretty sure yeah what do you like shackles or quick links Did you ask me yeah shackles or quick links Probably a shackle. Now, I'm, and i think it's because we're boaters and we're used oh, to it yeah <laughs> i think that's why see this is made so you can adjust it right right it's looking great all right are we good so far. We'll get a thumbs up. So far. Sucker drops. It's all your fault. Where's your hard hat, sir? You gotta stop <laughs> this until you get a hard hat. You and a hard hat. Eric. Hey, this ain't no safety violent no okay. OSHA yeah. OSHA work site right here. Don't say I didn't uh, recommend that. Uh you shouldn't have to uh you got that. Oh, I was going the wrong way. Don't you want that chain out of that? Huh? Don't you want that chain out. out of that? The chain out of it? What do you mean? See? It, 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 uh... No, it's on right and left. Yeah, I know, but that should be on this side of that. Oh, chain, yeah, I guess right? it could be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's not... Now that's why you're getting paid, dog. Oh, <laughs> that's egg money right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like the crack dealer of the eggs. They got to come see me when they want the eggs. All right, bro. Pressure's on. Pressure is on. And what I don't 100% know if everything is completely disconnected. So I think that it is. Where's my light? Where'd it go? Right. See if you see anything disconnected. I do not. And I think we won't know it till we start moving. Can we see 100% in the back? Yeah. This thing's supposed to come straight up. That's what it's supposed to happen. So before it's in any danger, I'm just right. doing a slight lift. Where are you going, Jack? Safety, Jack, where are you out. going? The safety man's got to be out. <laughs> All right, so we're at the point... I'm going to be able to see everything. It's loose. This is exciting. Uh, Hold on. Freeze! That's all safety things from the fire department. Freeze! Everybody stops what they're doing. <laughs> That's because he wasn't real fire department. Like me. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> easy, easy. No, the thing has the full weight of it. Do we have any movement up there? Nothing yet. I'm pressing the first pressure. Oh, wait a minute. Why you put me in safety and then you're going to have it come falling down? It's going to be on me. <laughs> 
That's that's that ain't right, Big Daddy. Is that gonna hold? I hope it is. No, I think I don't know. I'm so I'm, <laughs> I don't know that I, I would probably <clears throat> this operation honestly. Well, at this point, it's holding the weight of it. It's totally on the weight. This doesn't meet code, so <laughs> I, I would have to shut this down. I, I release myself of any responsibility of what could happen. A uh, typical government employee. I see a couple of things. Where does that go? Yep. See, I knew something would show up once I got here. All right, so these these three wires are in the back and you can just wait till the engine's free like it is to release them it's a little easier obviously there's some type of ground Made up, ground poured out, so I know where that goes. I'll tuck them in out of the way. And uh, Jack, do you see anything else? I think that that's free. These are free. Oh wait, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What about uh, this red positive this red. over here? Okay, I'll, I'll get it. I hadn't seen it yet. I don't know. Yeah, no, it does got to come. But this is this. I waited intentionally. Transmission? Uh, get fuel throttle. Uh, throttle. All right, let me get this throttle you loose. All it is got a little carter pin and then a little nut there. That's it. So this is a three eighths. Just loosen it. And this just holds this whole cable in here so that this can slide in and out. These are pretty easy to replace. I've replaced them on good times. Uh, let's see. You know me, Jack. I'm cutting edge. I hate when I see you cut wires like this. I don't know what they're for. That's why you don't buy a boat. Remember I said yeah. don't buy a boat without an engine? This is already challenging. Imagine you didn't have something there to go by. How would you ever figure that out? That came out. I like to leave them on there because it's too easy not to know where it goes. You know what I mean? Yeah. It'd be like, where the freak does that go? All right, safety man. I need, I Are we I, good? I need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> hey, somebody got to call 911. <laughs> right. Huh? Yeah. Somebody got to call 911. <laughs> when I start lifting and can get out of the way, I'll get out of the way. Like once this is clear, right? Just cause I don't 100% I don't love it either, but it is not supposed to be able to come out. I've done research on it. Yeah. And and actually funny that you say that because there's videos that say do not alter it. That's what it's made for. That when it tightens up, it hooks. Yeah. I mean, we got to make sure it's tightening up right. No doubt about that. But I literally watched the video because I'm thinking the same thing. I'm going. But it says that that's how it's done. That's yeah. what keeps it from, that's the, that's how it's made. That's why it's made that way, it says. I'm like, yeah, but what about, you know what I mean? Right. Well, I got to get my banana. Well, we can, uh, you can stand out here and raise it. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I'm going to, I just got to get in. I just have to turn it. We can turn it. Well, I'm not worried about it till it's up where I can close this door. And then I'm not worried about it until then. It ain't, it's not going to fall on me. It's going to fall on the floor, bottom of the boat, which is kind of good that it's, I'm checking it. You know what I mean? Slowly. Yeah. Before I'm doing this slow. Oh, Lordy. Oh, Lordy. There's that.
All right, Jack. Oh, hold on. I got it. It's trying to down a little bit. You got the hook? Yep. All right. On down. Oh, 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 back up. Okay. Good. Beautiful. They got my grandsons out here. Ajax and left. We had lunch and had to break. They gonna help me. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing on up and get it up out of here, sir. So. All right. Papa, I hear it cracking. Hey, Papa, I hear it cracking. You don't hear that? Get, get it out! Oh. oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? What happened? Something broke, man. I don't know. Was it the trains? No, the wood broke. Man.